Hi guys, how you doing? Um, we're back here with another uh, keto collab. This one's a little different. This one, um, there's a group of us, about five, I believe. And, oh, excuse me. Let's try this again. Sorry, I'm eating breakfast and uh, <coughs> bacon kind of went down the wrong way. Speaking of, this is my breakfast for the morning. I've eaten uh, one little beady piece of bacon and a half one of these. <coughs> it's um, actually three strips of bacon, two fried eggs, and one oopsie. What's an oopsie you say? An oopsie is a keto bun that did not rise. That's half of it. The other half was just as flat as that one was. Still delicious, just didn't make it as a bun. <laughs> um, took me a little while to figure out why some of them were doing that, because some of them would rise as beautifully, some of them would be flat as pancake. I figured it out. Anyway, I call it an oopsie. Um, but that's... Uh, I, I don't always have the oopsie for breakfast, but the bacon and eggs is pretty much normal for me for breakfast. So, there's that. Um, anyway, uh, let you know we're having a, a new keto collab coming up. Um, not really sure it has a name. What it is, there's five of us. Together, the five of us have, have lost over 650 uh, pounds. Yeah, over 650 pounds. That's a lot of lot of uh, that's a lot of pounds that's a lot of people that we've individually lost so um, yeah uh, look for this keto collab on the 15th uh, we have a basic question well we have a question that um, each of us is answering we're all answering the same question and um, we're going to go from one YouTuber to another, and uh, really excited. Can't wait to y'all to see it. But I wanted to come in, check you know, check in on you, or check in with you, let you know. Still doing keto. Um, I wanted to go outside on the porch and do this video. However, it has been raining every day for the past week at least. Um, hasn't been raining constantly, but just enough that when I decided I needed to go out and do this video, a beautiful morning, it starts raining. Um, so, we're in here. But anyway, th that this is who's in this collab. And what we're doing is we have a question. All of us, is our, our, all of us are answering the same question. And, um, we're, you know, you'll just follow from one video to the next. And it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I've already seen uh, one of the videos, and it's pretty cool. So stay tuned. That will be posted on the 15th. Then, of course, we've, I've got the monthly keto collab that's coming up at the end of this month. And this month, uh, it's what's for breakfast. No, this is not what's what I'm doing for breakfast. So. Don't worry, it's something a little, little different. Um, I can't wait for y'all to see that. And uh, weight-wise, um, right now I stepped on the scales, and from the last time I weighed, which was two weeks ago, because uh, last Monday was a holiday, so it didn't go to tops. I'm up two pounds. I expected it because um, one, kind of in that monthly time, and two. <laughs> been doing a lot of test tasting on keto baked goods and uh, they don't always come out like they should and I want to know something maybe y'all can answer this for for me I swear I swear I see a keto baked good uh, recipe and I'm thinking well that sounds good that sounds like it should be good 
and then I see the reviews and people are like, oh, this is delicious. It tastes just like the real thing and da 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 and I can't believe you've changed my life and I make the recipe exactly the way it says. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you really kidding me? Did people lose their sense of taste when they started keto or, or were they eating foods that just tasted horrible before? I really want to know this because seriously I'm fixing to go on a rant. I really am. I really am. Because, okay, let me tell you, I found a recipe, and it is, it's, there's been several recipes, okay, it was a spiced zucchini, um, bread, spiced zucchini cup, uh, muffin, yeah, spiced zucchini muffin, and it sounded good, okay, and I followed the recipes, but the, it had an okay taste. I mean, it, it was it was okay. The texture, mmm, just wasn't. And thinking that, and I specifically looked, there was no mention of in the recipe about squeezing out the juice of the zucchini. And then I read in the comments, and somebody asked about that, and the lady specifically said she never does. Okay, so I didn't do this, but it, it, it had a consistency of it wasn't quite done, and the top was more than done, and, you know, it just, it just wasn't right. So that was a no-go. Um, I even still have most of it in the freezer. In fact, I think I'm going to dump it because I, I thawed part of it out last night, and it just... The only way I can get it to taste good is by putting butter on it, and it just, no, it, I think it's going to be tossed. The next one, <laughs> I got so mad at this one. Okay, it was a spiced, um, spiced pumpkin strudel muffin. Okay. Start off with, sounding good, I'm going through there, and I realized the spices were like, way more than what a normal recipe calls for and I understand it's spiced so I even looked up other spiced pumpkin recipes you know this same amount nowhere near this much we're talking three tablespoons not teaspoons three tablespoons of cinnamon one tablespoon of pumpkin spice Plus the other amounts of other spice that went in it. And I thought that cannot be right. So ended up uh, doing teaspoons. And it just, the taste was good. I got the taste. Okay. Put it in the oven. You know how you do your baking. Check to make sure it's done top is well done and I come back and it showed that it wasn't really done so I was going to put aluminum foil on top so that it the top you know the top would not burn and slide it back in the oven and when I did one of the pans flipped over not really flipped but it kind of fell off the rack onto the oven door. I lost <clears throat> six, you know, it was a 12 pan muffin. I lost six from that. And you know how when you, you muffins fall, you know, some of them may just come up crumble, but you'll still have mostly muffin, you know, recognizable muffin forms. Okay, these were in cups, you know, like cupcakes. When these fell out, all that was there was crumbs. They just disintegrated on the oven door. I may have said a word or two that was not, you know, appropriate for anybody. 
we got that cleaned up and I just like my mom's going you going to finish cooking I said no I'm done I took them out turned the oven off I was like you know because I was trying to find something that I can make to sell at the farmers market and they just like if they're going to crumble there there's no need so I took them out and about an hour later decide yeah, I just put them on the stove I left them walked away um, about an hour later I come back and I picked one up and I broke it apart because thinking yeah I, I wanted to see if it crumbled then why did it act like it was raw inside and it I pulled it apart and it was done it was done inside and it didn't crumble it just needed to cool down I was like really and so those, those turned out okay but I'm like really and I made a lemon poppy seed bread and that one oh my god let me tell you that would turn out great it had a good consistency in fact I'm going to make it again and I'm thinking about uh, I'm thinking about making it for a video we'll see and then um, I'm thinking that that would actually be good as a, a French toast you know slice it because it, it would actually hold I believe that one would actually hold for a French toast we're going to try that um, but yeah those I ended up selling and I uh, sold out of those those were good uh, so good in fact that I was going to make a, um, a glaze for on top but uh, it didn't need it it really honestly didn't need it um, but yeah those were good but I'm like seriously how many times have you found, you know, baked goods that people are like, oh, this is so good. It tastes just like, and you think, oh, great. I love whatever it is. And you go to make it and you're thinking, really? Okay, really? You think this tastes just like, you know, I don't know how many times that I've done that. Now, I have found some really good recipes, you know, that I keep in my arsenal. But, you know, the 90 second, uh, 90 second bread in the microwave, I read, oh, it tastes just like bread. Change your life. No, it does not taste just like bread. Um, and it was okay. Um, turned really good when, you know, I, I would have to butter it and then uh, oven pan, pan fry it. Now, that turned out good. But, no, it, it's not just like bread. Really? Um, but it, it, it's good in its own right. I wish people would would stop saying it tastes just like because then it gets your expectations up too high and you, you think, oh, this is going to taste just like no, you know, if you'd say that it, it's, it's a delicious dish in its own right, yeah but don't tell me it tastes just like whatever, you know um now, like Cauliflower rice. I love cauliflower rice. I use it all the time. But does it taste just like rice? No. It tastes like cooked cauliflower. And, it, and somebody who doesn't like cauliflower, and you tell them, oh no, it tastes just like rice. You're, you're setting them up to fail. Don't do that, people. Don't do that. You know, um... And I love using it as fried rice, and, and in times like that, it, it, it does mimic rice, but it doesn't taste just like rice. You know, there's there's very few things that will taste just like the real thing. Zoodles. I love zoodles. I've always loved zoodles. Before I'd become uh, keto, loved them. No, they do not taste like noodles. Spaghetti squash does not taste like spaghetti. But it, it's delicious in its own right, and that's that people need to change their perception of things. You know, you, you're setting them up for a failure when you tell them that things taste just like. Now, I make those keto buns. Do they, they're the closest thing I've ever come to bread, and to me, if I was to say that it tastes just like bread, I would be lying because. Honestly, they taste better than bread. 
you know, I, I don't like bread and I love these things, you know, it just, anyway, I don't know what I was going to do when I got on here, but, um, I, you know me, I got off on my tangent. Um, I think I started off on one road and ended up, you know, five miles away from where I wanted to end up. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so anyway, uh, the last way it was two weeks, I was, I had lost a total of 122 pounds. Um, this last weigh-in showed that I gained two pounds. So I'm back to have lost 120 um, but I, I figure that because, like I said, it's that time of the month. Plus, I've been test, taste testing a lot of the stuff. Um, yeah, I don't let keto stuff go to waste. Although, I do believe I'm going to throw away those zucchini. I am so, so disappointed in them, really. Um, and then um, there's um, some more recipes that I want to try out. But, I just... Yeah, I'm majorly disappointed in those the keys, but anyway. Alright, I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.